welcome to the show. It's your girl Fifi Mutsi on You Tell Me. Um, today we're going to be tackling the issue of manhood and we really want to know. We've been hearing so much about men and we get, usually we get an impression of manhood and what it is being a man from another woman. So today we have to hear it from the horse's mouth, from a man himself, what manhood is about, some of the challenges that come with being a man and why men treat our women the way they treat them sometimes, what challenges um, they encounter growing up and being men and being heads of the household and everything basically associated with manhood because apparently it's really hard being a man it's not easy to be a man it's just a very hard thing especially if you are a man that grew up in the absence of a father you never had that role modeling you never had the opportunity to be shown the way to get the direction and some of these benefits of having a father so we really want to know some of these things today so just just hold on with me today i'd like to introduce my guest it's mr all right thank you for being on the show mr zure and thank you for allowing us to talk to you today and i hope that you're going to be as open as possible for the benefit of all our viewers out there um so what do you think are some of the challenges that come with being a man what kind of a man would you say you are and would you say that you are the man you are today because of the background that you had? To be a man, mm -hmm. there are so many challenges that you encounter. Uh -huh. that you, yeah. So it's like, uh, for me to be where I am right now, it's because of my father as well as my mom. It's like my father taught me well, many things. Mm -hmm. Miss Face, life is concerned. Mm -hmm. The love of my father. So it's like if you grow up without having both parents, so you can lose a lot of things. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, can I just intercept a bit? So basically, so far, what you're saying is both parents are equally important in the yeah. upbringing of a child, yeah. in the raising of a child, which is what I always say. I always say that there is a reason why we have a mother and a father, and not two fathers and not two mothers. A mother is there for a specific reason and yeah. a father is there for, for a specific reason in the, in the household and in the child's life. Because I always say that for these parents that always break up and you know they just abandon their children or whatever the case, or children that are actually brought up in single parent homes, I feel like it's actually very arrogant and I say it's always arrogant for a parent, for one parent to think that the other parent can just go, they will raise the children alone. 